Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Nick Games. Um, based off the previous video for the Reign of Fire buffs, I thought I'd also make a video for the Affliction uh, single target buffs. We're going to go over um, basically the damage profile, how it's feeling so far, and why I think Affliction can actually be a top contender for a single target in the upcoming raid of Vault of the Incarnates. Alright guys, let's get into it. So the build is relatively the same, uh, Malefic Rapture, Unstable Affliction, Xavian Teachings, uh, Nightfall, Harvester of Souls, Rhythm Agony, uh, Phantom Singularity. I'm going to be running Grimoire Sacrifice. Um, the reason is, is because this is doing more damage on pure single target scenarios. Also, if you try to take this point out, you have to throw it somewhere else. And honestly, uh, putting a point in Pandemic Invocation, it, as you can see, is doing like no damage. It's probably a tooltip error, but I'm not going to be playing with this. Um, you can also do Inevitable Demise and Soul Flame and Seed of Corruption. But overall, I think Grimoire is best for single target. So we're going to be running that. Uh, Sacral Lashes, Dark Strike, Dark Glare, uh, Soul Swap. Uh, Soul Swap is actually pretty useful. Um, considering that it's really hard to keep up all your dots when you're cycling through your raptures so being able to throw this out is definitely useful uh weathering bolt this is mandatory for single target uh basically drain soul is dealing uh 15 more damage up to 45 percent uh damage if you have three dots on the target that you're drain souling so this is definitely huge dark glare for a two minute uh, cooldown and extension of your dot use haunt sees vitality from a hunt damage Haunted Soul for more dot damage over time. We're going to be using a Tormented Crescendo. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Procs highly often and makes your Rapture uh, Instacast. This stacks up to two times and it makes it to where your Rapture does not cost any Soul Shards. Very, very good. Drain Soul. A Shadow Embrace. Soul Tap. You want to use this as much as you can uh, before your Burst Windows so you have enough Shards. A creeping death to make your dots tick a lot faster. Malefic Affliction uh, got buffed. This is the ability that I was going to talk about here a little bit. Basically, before it was only 30%. Now it's 39%, which is actually insane. If you take a point out of it, it's 8% up to 24. And then when you put a second point in it, it is 13% up to 39 for the rest of its duration. As long as you keep up your Unstable Affliction, um, you will never drop this buff. And Unstable Affliction will always do 39% more damage. It's basically our top damage now, which is completely wild. Finally, Affliction uh, dots are actually looking to be really good. And then we're also going to be taking Dread Touch. This also got buffed recently as well. Used to be 20%. Now it is 30%. So overall, Affliction single target got buffed around 16 ish percent just based off these two buffs here as long as you can keep up dread touch 100 percent of the time so i really do think affliction is looking much better all right now that we went over the talents i'm going to go over the build and how it feels damage wise on single target um i'll update you on the stat priorities and then uh that'll be it for this video <laughs> so to start off with we're gonna double soul tap to get our shards up we're going to start off with the Haunt. I'm going to Lust here as well. And then Agony, you Corruption, you Siphon Life. I'm going to build three stacks of your Shadow Embrace. We're going to Dark Glare with cooldowns. <laughs> I'm using Horn of Valor. Spam Rapture here. <laughs> A Refresh Haunt. I'm going to Soul Tap. I'm going to use Rapture. We're going to reapply our dots here in a second. Okay, I'm going to reapply UA, Agony, A Corruption, and Siphon Life. We're gonna drain soul. We've got a free shard use. Okay, we're gonna rapture, rapture. We're gonna refresh haunt, <laughs> rapture. UA, agony, corruption, siphon life, drain soul. Now, what I'm gonna do next is when my phantom singularity comes up, I'm not gonna refresh my dots. I'm just gonna drain soul as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna throw soul swap in so it applies all my dots instantly. I'm going to Soul Tap twice here, and I'm going to Phantom Singularity. I'm going to Rapture as many times as I can in this window here. <laughs> okay, and then Drain Soul. 
Gonna reach much agony or corruption aside from life. <laughs> UA as well and haunt. Back to drain soul. Okay. <laughs> rapture. Drain soul. I'm gonna rapture again. We're gonna refresh our dots again. Our corruption. Life and life. Haunt. Rapture. Rapture one more time. Oh, I need to refresh my UA. Oh, that was very close. Okay, my Phantom of Singularity is coming up. I'm gonna hold it for my burst window that's coming up uh, with Dark Glare. <laughs> gonna re uh, gonna reapply corruption here. <laughs> I'm gonna malefic rapture twice. Gonna refresh our dots again. Gonna rapture. I'm gonna soul tap three times. I'm gonna Phantom Singularity. I'm gonna haunt. I'm gonna use soul swap and pop cooldowns. So I have all my dots at max duration. Rapture. We're gonna drain soul. Gonna rapture again. Drain soul again. My dots are falling, so we're gonna refresh life and life. We're gonna refresh haunt. I'm gonna rapture spam as many times as I can here. Gonna siphon life. Corruption. Agony. <laughs> drain soul. We're going to uh, redo uh, Malefic Rapture to apply Dread Touch. And that's basically uh, the rotation overall. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, UA is our top damage. Uh, doing a lot more damage than it was previously. It did get a massive buff with the Dread Touch 10% uh, amp as well as the Malefic Affliction amp. UA is definitely looking much, much better. Uh, Rapture is definitely falling behind it. Uh, Rapture feels really good when you're getting procs from a uh, Calamitous uh, Crescendo. It's really nice because you can build up two stacks and then um, if you have to run, you can still use this ability. Drain Soul is doing a lot of damage only because the Raider's uh, training dummy is at the execute range. I used Grimoire Sacrifice a little late. I didn't realize I had a pet out until a little longer, but Grimoire Sacrifice, considering it was only... Um, in about 30 seconds of the cycle, it did 250k damage, which is not bad at all. Phantom Singularity uh, is doing pretty decent. Um, it just sucks because I remember when this ability used to be super strong and it did a lot of damage. But definitely not as much as I would like for it to do. Agony is doing a lot. Uh, Corruption is doing quite a bit. The Siphon Life is doing quite a bit. And overall, all this damage down here is very minimal. Um, but yeah, dots are doing big damage again, and it feels really, really nice. The stats uh, that I'm stacking is uh, haste and mastery. I definitely prioritize haste over mastery just because more haste equals better feel for the rotation. So definitely just run with haste, and then on your side stat, just go for mastery if you can. The trinkets I'm running is Horn of Valor. Horn of Valor is in the first uh, Mythic Plus uh, cycle of dungeons, so definitely try to grab one of these. Lines up with your Dark Glare as well, and lasts for 30 seconds, so it, it's really, really good overall. It does suck that it comes with versatility as a flat stat, but it's okay, considering that the on use is pretty decent. I'm also using the Crimson Gladiator's Insignia of Alacrity. Uh, I think I was using this in my other video for Affliction. And it just provides a flat amount of haste and has a chance to give you primary stat for 20 seconds. But overall, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys want to see more content in the future, definitely consider uh, subscribing. Thank you to everyone who has supported this channel. I love you all. Thank you for 350 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I hope you guys have a great day, evening, and morning. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.